of all, we realize in these very lean times that we can't just yank the food assistance program. We will not be able to have as much, but we do have a three million there that we can start with. And also we may be able to move some of the money from other line items in the cap two, so that for example, we may be, we may be able to add in maybe another 250,000 and some more money from the cap three if we are able to access it, but it will depend on the availability of the cash, you know? No, it will have to be reduced in terms of the, the, the clients that we can reach because it, it really cannot be a free for all. And this is one of the difficulties that we have had. I have acknowledged publicly that the vetting process for the BCAT has been somewhat flawed, but since it is a World Bank project, we really do have to carry on with it up until July or August. But after that, we will be focusing on the food assistance, and I believe that that will be able to take us up to December. Beyond that, I can't speak. I am hoping, um, um, gentlemen and ladies of the media, I'm really hoping that by then, we would be able to put more of our people back to work. Because as you know, and I have said it, as you know, giving out groceries, yes, to our most vulnerable is a good thing. But really, when you look at it, it's unsustainable. So our goal has to be putting Belizeans back to work.